one of the most common questions that's been asked from me or I'm sure many Tesla or other EV owners would be how do you charge your car? Do you feel stressed about charging your car at home? And uh, how much does it cost? But in this video, let's cover how I charge my BYD. I've actually already talked about uh, how I charge my Tesla and I do have a Tesla wall charger at home. So let's use the Tesla wall charger and see if it can be used in the BYD. So all you need to do is make sure the Tesla wall charger settings have enabled to be used for other vehicles and then just bring in the cable and plug it in like you would be charging your Tesla. But before that, let's talk about the charger that came with the BYD. The two types of cables that BYD provides, one is the vehicle to load cable. That can be used to actually use your BYD battery to charge any other equipments, including your Tesla or any other EV that you have handy. It could be a great addition to the battery or EV lifestyle, especially if you're going on camping, you can actually take equipments with you like your maybe air fryer and just have uh, fresh chips or whatever you like to do with your air fryer but there is a possibility with BYD which is not the case with Tesla's yet. The other cable that comes with the BYD is the normal charger similar to the cable that used to come with Tesla's. I happen to have one cable which is supplied by Tesla so I know and I've used that for a while but uh, then luckily we got the wall charger installed and I've never actually used that cable after that. It's been sitting in the car just as a backup for when we go on road trips and if by any chance we do something unplanned we at least have the surety that we have a way to charge the car. So moving back to BYD let's uh, see how the charger that comes with the BYD performs. So once we plug in the BYD charger, we plug it in in the normal socket and as soon as you plug it in, switch it on, the red light on the charger comes along showing that the charger is on. Once the charger is plugged in, the dashboard screen comes alive and it shows the information that how much electricity is actually going into the car and as you can see, currently the charger is giving out the input of 1.4 kilowatt hour which is quite low compared to what we get in the Tesla charger as well as compared to the wall charger. Now, this is not the normal way of me charging my car, but if you need to, it shows it's gonna take 13 hours something to charge the car to full. And uh, currently I'm not too low on battery, I'm around 70%. So given that it's just 30% uh, charge that it needs to do, that amount of time is a bit too much and hence it's good to see if the Tesla wall charger could be used. Now, I thought the wall charger would be simple and uh, as efficient as it is in my Tesla, but I've tuned down the settings same as I use in my Tesla, which is 32 MPs of current flowing through the charger. But when I plug it in the BYD, it actually fluctuates. So sometimes it gives me 6.4 to 7 kilowatt hour charge rate, but as you can see right now, it's giving me 3.4 kilowatt hour charge rate, which is better than the BYD charger that came with the car, but still it's not as efficient as if I were to charge my Tesla, it would be way quicker. Now I'm not too sure why that happens because it could be the case with how cold the battery is or there's no way to precondition the battery in here in BYD like we can do in Tesla, but there's a way you can schedule the charge in BYD. But that's not to take away the fact that the Tesla wall charger, at least in my case, is not uh, always working as it should. Ideally, it's rated for seven kilowatt hour uh, supply to the car, but uh, as you can see, it's giving out 3.4. I've seen it hit seven multiple times and uh, 6.4, it fluctuates. I'm not too sure what the reason is. I'll actually go uh, to BYD service center soon because my BYD is about to get service. I know BYD wants you to get your electric car serviced every year. That's a thing which we have to adapt and I believe it's similar to the high vehicle. But since we had our Tesla for the last couple of years, it's a thing which we are not uh, fond of or 
you know we're not used to to get your car serviced every 10,000 or 15,000 kilometers and every year but given the fact that I'll be visiting the BYD center I'll actually inquire about if they are aware of this issue or is there an issue which could be fixed so yeah that's it and uh, it does charge slow but it's not an issue because you can actually schedule it and uh, you plug in the charger at night and by the morning it's usually full I've never had a chance to charge it from very low percentage because this car we are actually using for uh, our daily runs and going not too far and especially on not longer road trips on consecutive days so we've taken it on a longer trip but uh, never had to see if it would be able to charge to complete but given that 30 persons taking 5 hours 25 minutes on 3.4 kilowatt hour that's what it is showing right now so it should be fine because you would be taking a break let's assume you were out and about and you came home around 8 you would still have I think in 12 hours you would be comfortably doing 60% of the charge which is fine if not you can always use the other way of charging which is fast chargers and some of the Tesla chargers are actually allowed now to be used on BYD but I don't recommend it because they charge a bit too much compared to other networks when it comes to other vehicles but if in a remote area if you want a quick charge feel free to use them they are great and the networks the networks for sure well managed and other EV networks because I've had multiple times where the chargers were not working but not with Tesla so I think that's my experience so far with the charging my BYD now do I recommend getting a wall charger if you got EVs and if you plan to keep an EV for sure and especially if you have a garage where you can put in the charger I think it's not a must but it's a nice to have feature and especially when uh, you're buying a car some manufacturers actually giving you uh, those wall chargers inclusive in the car or you have options like if you actually go and refer someone with uh, your Tesla ref referral program you can actually get a charger for free last I checked but uh, that's something which I would have done with my referral points but I went in a different direction and I got some other things and accessories because I already had a wall charger if not I would have gone for that and it's not just about uh, the fast charging of it it's about the convenience as well because now I have a charger sitting uh, at one wall and I know that's where it is and you can park your car accordingly and you can manage around it but if you have to uh, get the cable out every time you charge I understand people can leave the cable maybe build racks around it and uh, make it similar to what I have here but I still prefer the looks and feels of the wall charger and 7 kilowatt is a decent speed to charge especially when it comes to Tesla I've never found myself struggling to charge my Tesla even if I know I'm going on a road trip in a couple of hours it actually supplies enough juice for me to uh, go do my road trips and Tesla is for sure quicker when it comes to charging on the I think EV networks as well it does have 150 kilowatt hour charge rate whereas the BYD is I think 80 kilowatt hour but saying that the use case of BYD is quite different for us and if it is not the case for you I would still recommend getting a wall charger maybe Tesla maybe not if you are planning to buy a Tesla in future then maybe I would recommend getting a Tesla wall charger it's actually quite seamless when it comes to Tesla wall charger I've never had uh, many complaints or issues with it so far and it's quite intuitive to use and set up so yeah that's about it hope you get some information out of this video which you can use and I've heard your feedback I would try to use less sound effects I was just trying something out and uh, I'm quite new in my video journey and it's actually quite hard when you are trying to learn a lot of things but trying to make videos which are informative and I understand it could be annoying and distracting just like the bike that uh, went by and uh, I understand it but I'll, I'll try to keep them down if not remove them entirely but uh, thanks a lot for all your support and watching the channel if you have any other information that you would like to get from me regarding a BYD or a Tesla feel free to reach out in comments and I hope to see you in the next one until then happy charging and drive safe